I'm going to do a YouTube thing on the Canadian immigration one day, which you guys already have it anyway now. But I'm, I'm going to do it on that part of it. You know, you don't stop some guy who's got a rag on his head, but you're going to bother me. Randy and I are sitting there. Actually, it was a lady. She's a stewardess. Randy and Liz sitting there. I come on. It's one of those 6 a.m. or something in the morning. You know, beaten. She said, uh, sir, you're going to have to check that bag. And I wasn't even paying attention that Randy was even listening at all or nothing. I think it didn't matter. I said, I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you check your bag, then I'll have room for mine. She said, well, that's my work bag. I said, this is my work bag, too. <laughs> I asked him one time, so, tell me the story about when Honky told the stewardess, why don't you check your bag? I'll do it. <laughs> He said, that's the greatest story. Why don't you check your bag? Then there would be room for my bag. She said, well, I have to work. It's my working bag. I said, I do too. <laughs> People come on an airplane. The guy takes his jacket off, right? His, his, you know, his suit jacket. He folds it so nice and prompt and lays it across the whole top of the, like that whole space is for him. So we get on a plane, 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, like we always were, just throwing stuff around. Up goes my bag on top of his jacket. He says, hey, fella, you just threw your bag on top of my jacket. I said, don't worry, I'll press it for you. I went back and sat down. <laughs> he was, what did he think? He's, he, and that, he took it off, folded it nice, laid it up there like it was, you know, something that, was was so precious and patted it down. Here we come along, you know, dressed in warm up stuff and no shave, no hair all messed up, throwing stuff everywhere. And up goes my bag and hey fella, you just threw your bag on my jacket. I said, Don't worry, I'll press it for you. And I just kept walking, went back and sat down. What's he gonna say? You know, or you get on the plane and people have luggage and they don't have a place to put their bag. But instead of some lady putting her purse or some guy putting his backpack underneath his seat, he has to put his backpack, his little backpack so big, up there and take the space out and turn it where... It's like, come on. A lot of times I have my briefcase, somebody comes along, they need a spot. I say, here, hand me that briefcase, I'll put it under here, we'll get your bag up there. Because I know what it's like to have to ch check a bag, which we don't like. <laughs>